Hello Glamour Ghouls and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Midge Munster and on this channel we do all things campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. So as you can see I am dressed down today <laughs> and we are doing something a little bit different than anything I've really done here on the channel before and I'm very excited. This is a project that has been I don't even want to say in the works. That's not a good way. I, I haven't done anything. It's been, my wheels have been turning for almost a year. Actually, I think it has been a full year. As you can see, we're in a very different locale today. Uh, this is my master bedroom closet. You can tell like it's, it's a very big space. Like there is so much room in here. It is <laughs> like, ta-da. It's a really big closet. And when we moved into this house, this was something I was extremely excited about was how A, big this closet was and B, how much like storage there was in here. I'll do some B-roll and you can kind of tell what all we're working with. Also, I am just going to show you my full shame <laughs> of how uh, out of control this space has gotten because, you know, I could clean it up before showing you, but what's the point in that? Like, I think everyone has spaces like this in their home that just get completely out of control and I'm I'm not and I'm, I'm not gonna hide that like this is the reality that we're starting with but it has these great shelves right in the entryway which are perfect for organizing jewelry and accessories it's got this above storage which would be great for like handbags and shoes uh, there's just there's so much opportunity here for a well-organized closet. Obviously it is not well-organized currently. I think that goes without saying. But about a year ago I had the idea to make over this closet and make it my like dream retro Malibu Barbie closet. And of course this is like I mentioned the master bedroom in my husband and I's bedroom and I didn't want to like take over the closet but um here are the five things that my husband has in the closet and a suit. He has five, five things and a suit. And so I asked him, like, would it be okay if I really, like, made the closet mine and displayed my pieces that I'm proud of and, like, really organized it to best suit my vintage wardrobe? And he was amazing about it. He said, of course, that's great. <laughs> like he mostly keeps everything in the dressers and we have extra closets in our other bedrooms for him to hang a few items up here and there. He works from home completely. His company is based in San Francisco and we're in Kansas City. So he does not go into an office. He doesn't need like slacks and button downs. He's a, he's a t-shirt and jeans guy. <laughs> so it works out. It works out great. Um, and he's very, very kind and generous for letting me... Um, take over this space. But now that I have the go ahead to do this, I'm uh, excited but also overwhelmed. So this is going to be a bit of a, a series on the channel. Uh, this is definitely not going to be a, uh, a single video project. At the beginning I thought like, oh we'll do it, you know, in one long video. And then I was like, no, there is a pretty distinct beginning, middle, and end to this project. And so, so many of you ask uh, in my comments and things for a wardrobe tour or for a like, you know, kind of collection of what I have going on in my closet. And I thought this would be a really good opportunity for that because A, I'm gonna have to take everything out of here to work on this. And B, in that process, I need to go through my clothes and decide what I really need, what I wanna keep and what I'm not really wearing because I am a clothes hoarder, if that wasn't <laughs> if that wasn't evident here. But I really do feel like I'm going through a period of change where my style is evolving quite a bit. I'm starting to air uh, a lot more 60s than 50s and I bought a lot of clothes um, that were like for when I worked in an office. I had more high cut, proper 50s style dresses that were appropriate to wear in a professional environment and I just don't wear them. I don't reach for them anymore because I have the freedom to wear whatever I want now that I work from home. So this is a very long-winded way <laughs> of saying that uh, we're going to take everything out of here and do a bit of a closet clean out and try on of different pieces, see what I want to keep, see what I want to donate. And if I have any like really nice pieces that are in good condition still, I may put them up for sale in like a Poshmark situation, not for like 
anything terribly expensive. But I don't know. I would hate to just like give some of these to like Goodwill when I know there are a lot of folks here that would really appreciate them. So anywho, we're going to start by getting everything out of here. I think I'm going to do like categories. We'll move. I pulled out a rack in my bedroom so that I can move these things out of here and hang them up and not have them like <laughs> strewn about my bedroom for a week. Anyway, I have been talking for so long. Uh, let's get the stuff out of here and figure out what we're keeping and what we're getting rid of. Let's go. So I decided to start with shirts and sweaters because I was like, well, that's my my smallest category, which uh, in retrospect now is funny because it sure doesn't look like a small category when it's all here on the rack. Anyway, first thing is my motorcycle jacket from Vixen by Micheline Pitt. And it's a little cropped motorcycle jacket. This is very cute. I just got this this year. So oh, this will not be going anywhere because I still like it very, very much. I have not gotten a chance to wear it yet because I got it in the summertime and it's just now starting to get cold enough in Missouri to wear it. So definitely keeping this. Next is another Vixen top. You're <laughs> going to notice a theme in this closet purge is that most of my clothes are from Vixen um, or her sister brand, La Femme en Noir. I honestly don't need to try this on. I just got this piece this summer and I love it. In fact, I'm going to be looking at getting this in several other colors because I like it so much. Um, but for effect, I'll put a picture here of me wearing it. It is cropped, so comfortable, cotton, lightweight, love it. I asked for a wireless mic for Christmas and I really wish that it was here already. <laughs> so this little top is very simple. It's just a cotton three quarter length sleeve from Hellbunny. Um, you can see, I think, yeah, that it has like a little ruching in the bust, which is very cute. Just gives it a little extra shape. Um, this is super nice for wearing just like with a, a skirt for a casual day, but still giving a little, a little retro. So this is definitely a keep. Okay. This is my first one that I'm like, oh, this that I'm not sure about. This is not staying on the hanger. <laughs> this is the vacation top from Vixen by Micheline Pitt. Let me put it on. So obviously you're not getting the full effect because I have the tank top on underneath it, but it's really pretty. It hits under the bust and it's ruched. The sleeve has elastic so you can wear it on or off the shoulder. I love the sleeves. Um, I love the color. I don't own hardly any purple and I started kind of working purple into my wardrobe after I dyed my hair like super red last year. And I, I really do love this pretty like lavendery lilac color. However, <laughs> don't find myself reaching for this that much. I have this, I have one skirt that I bought to match this and I don't think I'm gonna be keeping the skirt honestly, which makes it hard for me to justify keeping this top because I don't know what else I would wear it with. And it's one of those very hit and miss items where depending on how I'm feeling about my body that day, I either feel really good in it or I feel very like dumpy. I do love this fabric because it's stretchy and it like does not wrinkle. You can throw this like wad it up in a suitcase and take it with you and it's not gonna, you're not gonna have to worry about it. But this is just, it's not a top I could wear with pants because I don't like the way this looks. But when I have a skirt on, it's very flattering like on the bust and the arms. But honestly, if I'm having to talk through it this much, I don't love it, which means I shouldn't keep it. So unfortunately, I think this is going to be a sell for me. Next, I have this top, which I actually have not tried this on yet. I just ordered this on clearance from Retrolicious. And friends, obviously, the further we go into this video, the more... <laughs> insane my hair is gonna look so just you know bear with me so like I said I got this on clearance because I loved the print these little witches and the retro starbursts it's very like bewitched to me but what I really wanted was the dress and they were out of the dress so I bought the pussy bow top because I do have a couple of pussy bow tops that I really like 
Obviously, this would be one I would wear with a black full skirt and a little cardigan. I don't know. It is a very stiff fabric, so there's not a lot of give. So I feel like my chest is squished just a little bit. Um, but you know what? I just bought it. So I am going to keep it and give myself the opportunity to style it a couple times, see if I like it. And it was really cheap on clearance, so <laughs> no harm, no foul. If I have to resell it later, I, I can. <laughs> okay, so this is another little pussy bow top that I love. The color and it's polka dotted. Um, but I haven't tried this on in probably a year and a half. And does not look very flattering in this general region anymore. So, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to part ways, which is a bummer because I do really like this color on me. This was actually from the Van Heusen outlet, so it's like a nice quality top. Uh, I've had it for a couple of years and it's like held up really well. Like it's a nice material. It's really lightweight. It's nice for spring and summer. Um, but <laughs> I cannot, I cannot breathe. So, next... Okay, so next I have this little like chemise, kind of see-through. It's got little bees and roses on it. This, uh, let's get into this story y'all real quick while I try this on. As you can see, this still has the tags on it. It is from Sugar Thrills. This was actually purchased for me by Michaela Marie Studios, who is a stylist in this area. She styled me for my trip to New Jersey for the Spirit flagship store. And uh, let me tell y'all, <laughs> we filmed a whole other video together um, talking about her services. I mean, months ago. And I owe her my firstborn child at this point. I, <laughs> I got so caught up with Halloween and things that I never released that video and I feel terrible about it. <laughs> Um, because she is amazing and she did a lot of hard work for me. So, so I will show you that video here soon. Um, but she got this top for me. It's very different than what I would normally wear, but it is very cute and it does like fit me well. And I feel like under a pinafore or something, this could be a very cute moment. I have not had an opportunity to try to style this yet, but I really like it. I mean, you guys know I love bees, so... I am going to keep this one. This is another Vixen piece, one of my favorite tops I own. I'll definitely be keeping this. I'm not going to like, it's a corset back, so I'm not going to like lace myself into it, but love her. That's definitely staying. It is like a spider web print. Okay, we've made it to cardigans. Um, I am a cardigan hoarder. I love cardigans. I can just tell you, like these two, keep. I love these colors, fall colors. If you've been around for a little while, you know that I wore this sweater like every day in October 2019. Like it was unhealthy. I <laughs> I styled 7,000 outfits with this sweater. This is another, both of those are from MAC sweater. This one is too. This one I don't love, I don't think. I love the color, but it's the same size as the others and it doesn't really sit well on me and I don't love the sleeve length because it kind of goes like in here and cuts in just makes me look kind of matronly honestly so that one's gonna go this beauty I love this is my sweater from a uh, stitch shop by Loungefly. it's got this little stitched heart on the front and then on the back it's got the universal monsters so cute so that is pretty new to me. That's a keep. Okay, so here's what we kept out of that. It's a good little amount of clear out. We got rid of some pieces, so I feel good about that. Uh, let's move on to skirts and pinafores. I don't know why I keep thinking that these categories are going to be like small. I'm like, well, I mostly have dresses and then I put stuff up here and I'm like, Let's get getting. These are two very obvious keeps. Uh, if you've been around with me for a bit, you will definitely recognize my monster skirt. This is like my favorite piece of clothing I have ever owned. It's a Vixen by Micheline Pitt. And this year she re-released it in a new colorway with different monster faces on it. So I had to get that. Um, yeah, again, no questions. Those are 100% staying with me. 
this monster face skirt actually is going to be a sell because, not because I don't like it, this is also Vixen um, from the Ben Cooper line, but I got this in a swap and shop group and it is actually too small. And so I recently located it, found it again in the right size and bought it. So this can go on to a new home. This one is definitely a keep for me. This is another Vixen piece. Um, it's this man-eating like Venus flytrap print. I actually bought this like three years ago as a dress, like a sarong dress for my first ever pinup contest. And I just didn't find myself wearing the dress very much because it was a wiggle style just wasn't like my favorite shape on me, but I loved the fabric. So I hunted this beauty down in a swap group and bought it off of a gal. So now I have it in a nice little skirt that I can wear very easily, which makes me happy. Okay, this skirt, we're gonna put this one on. This skirt is just a bit odd. <laughs> I bought it because I love owls and I liked the print a lot. Um, but it is like a skater style, it just hangs very like straight and the waist is pretty big on me. So it doesn't like really ta like taper my waist the way that it needs to for a, a cut this straight of a skirt. I don't know. It just, it's not flattering on me. It's a cute skirt. It would look great on somebody with a better like natural waistline than me. I'm very boxy. So these straight cuts just accentuate how boxy I am. And uh, I just don't, I haven't worn this in probably two years now, so it needs to go to a new home. Now, this is actually that exact same skirt in a Halloween print. And again, I don't love the way this looks on me, but I keep it because the print is so unique and the color is a really unique color for a Halloween outfit. Like you don't see this like bright chartreuse -y, yellowy green. And I like the print on it. I did wear this this year during spooky season, so I'm going to hold on to it. Okay, so next is another retrolicious skirt. It's got like ferns and flowers and flamingos on it. I got this uh, for like summertime, thinking I would wear it like to the tiki bar and things. And again, it's very cute. It's just not quite in alignment with my style anymore. To a new home she goes. So this is the skirt I was mentioning when we were talking about the lavender blouse. I bought this last spring and I did a photo shoot in it. And I actually, I think I got it originally to wear because I worked um, for a theater and they did an annual fundraising event that was a garden party. And I wore this to the garden party, which was very appropriate and nice. It's a beautiful skirt. It's long. It hits again about mid shin. It's got like really nice like twirl factor. It's it's beautiful. I just don't reach for it. I think I am going to let her off to a new home with the lavender top. It's a really beautiful fabric though. This is uh, again Vixen by Michelin Pitt and it is a lovely lovely piece. Just not for me. Okay this old girl is a just a nice little stretchy, comfortable pencil skirt from Unique Vintage. I've had this for a long time and I like it. I don't wear it very often, but it's a nice piece to have when I have to get like business dressed up, which isn't that often now. I don't know if I should hold on to it or not. I don't wear a lot of like wiggles because of my tummy. So I don't know. I don't know, just like I've mentioned uh, in the beginning of this video, I don't have to dress for an office anymore. So I don't know under what circumstances I would reach for this. So I think we're going to let her go. I did this cleanse at a good time because I'm in the mood to get rid of things. <laughs> okay, here is my vegan leather circle skirt from Vixen. This is a definite keep. I love this piece. It is the matching vegan leather to the motorcycle jacket that I have. Um, it's just a really nice quality piece and I love it. It's great in the winter as well. <laughs> she does still sell this. If you live in a cold place, I would highly recommend this if you like wearing skirts in the winter because wind cannot break through this puppy. It is amazing. This is a definite keep. This is 
uh, from Le Femme Noir. It is the Katrina skirt. Y'all have seen me wear this a ton. And then lastly, I included these. As you will note, I don't really own pants, but I did buy these black, like corduroy style stretchy bell bottoms this year, thinking that I wanted to try out that style and they are so long, um, like way, way, way too long on me. I would have to wear heels to comfortably wear these and I don't really wear heels because I have um, flat feet and really bad foot problems. Um, so, and if I tailor them, like if I have them taken up, it's gonna cut the flare off and look weird. So unfortunately, I just, I don't think these are part of my journey. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna say goodbye to these. All right, so there we go. We are done with bottom pieces. Again, made a, a nice little dent in them. So let's move on to dresses, which is going to be um, the longest part of this video for sure. Let me go gather them all up and we'll get started. The sponsor of today's video is Casetify. Now y'all know I don't bring brands to the channel that I don't fully believe in. And I was so excited when Casetify reached out because I have been using a Casetify case for the last two years. I am a clumsy ghoul. I drop my phone constantly and this case has protected my phone perfectly, as you can see, and I am thrilled because I just got the new iPhone 13 and I would not trust anyone with my phone more than Casetify. Casetify is the best way to protect your phone. Their cases feature an antimicrobial coating that kills up to 99% of surface germs. And with their Chitek 2.0 protection, they are drop approved for up to 9.8 feet. I trust Casetify so much that I am willing to do a drop test for you right now with my brand new iPhone 13 that I've had for three days. <laughs> of course, my favorite part of Casetify is that if you are a glamour ghoul like me and you like to have options, there are literally endless options of prints and colors on Casetify's website to match your phone to your style or your mood. And you can even personalize your case to make it truly one of a kind. This is the case I've been currently using on my new iPhone and I love it. This is the Ultra Impact case. As you can see, it has these little soft bumpers on each of the corners. And I love that it's made of 65% recycled material. So if you are ready to level up the style of your phone, head to the link in the description box below or go to www.casetify.com slash Midge Munster for 15% off your Casetify order. That's casetify.com slash Midge Munster for 15% off. Thank you so much to Casetify for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the closet purge. Uh, so we have a couple of dresses here. It's that thing where I know I have a lot of dresses and then I see it like this and I become instantly ashamed and overwhelmed. <laughs> 43. There are 43 dresses. <laughs> That's too many dresses. That's too many. So we gotta get rid of some. Okay, so um, I'm gonna start by pulling out some things that I know are like obvious yeses that you all have seen me in in the last month or so on camera. Like if you've already seen me in it, we don't need to try it on right now. We don't need to like reevaluate it. We know we're keeping it. Like good example is the Tatiana peppermint dress. I've worn this in two videos uh, lately. So you've definitely seen me in this. This is one of my favorite Christmas, actually one of my only Christmas dresses really. I don't own a ton of Christmas. Um, this is my favorite Christmas dress. So definite keep. My Le Femme en Noir, Katrina, Sleepy Hollow dress. You've seen me in this one a whole bunch of times in October a favorite, a wonderful, wonderful dress. I will probably never get rid of this dress. It's amazing, keep. I wore this in the Halloween Spooktacular, the Vixen by Micheline Pitt. I believe this is the Vanity Fair pinky dress. Um, I This was a white whale of mine and I finally tracked it down after like three years in my size. I will, when I think of Midge Munster, this is what, I, this is what I'm wearing. This is, 
This is like Midge's final form. <laughs> this beauty with the B horror films on it from Hell Bunny. This uh, is what I wore in the Spirit flagship store video. So you have seen this. Um, this again was picked out for me by Michaela Marie Studios. And I love this dress. I actually was so glad she styled me for that video because I actually would never have picked this dress out for myself. And it is now one of my favorite dresses that I own. So keep. You have seen me in this ghost pinafore several times. This actually should have been with the skirts and pinafores, but hot topic, ghost overall pinafore keep. Y'all know this dress very, very well. My Tatiana Taylor and Twirl um, mod dress in this green velvet. It, uh, you know, it easily has the little black bow tie and the belt. I mean, it looks like, as you can see, so good with my hair and it's so flattering and comfortable. I, pfft, I love this dress. This also comes in a rust orange color and someday I will own it in the other shade. I feel like you have seen me in one of these versions <laughs> uh, pretty frequently on the channel. This is the black and white Bardo Beauty from Vixen and the orange version of it as well. Um, Again, one of my favorite dresses that I own. This cut is so flattering on me, hence I bought it in a second color. So these are both a keep. Both of these Vixen dresses, uh, same dress, different fabric, are both keeps, definitely. I have worn them recently on Instagram, as you can see. Um, they fit great, I love, they're very comfortable. It's a very stretchy cotton. And I love, this is such a cute monster pattern. And a great cobweb pattern. Love these both. Definitely keeps. Okay, I think that gets us to a pretty good spot on these. Oh, we'll pull her out too, because I did post on Instagram in this very recently, my purple bat dress from Vixen. I love this dress. This was one that she made um, a year or two ago, and I was like kicking myself forever for not buying it. And she brought it back this Halloween. I was so happy. So this is a definite keep for me. Okay, so this dress is hung weird because one of the straps on it broke on me. I do really, really, really love this dress. I love the color and the pattern. This also came with like a matching headscarf. So this is a very cute dress to wear with like a beehive and my hair wrapped up. So. Um, this is a pretty easy fix. The strap just needs to be like tacked back. So I think I will go ahead and keep her and just fix that. Next is my little spider web dress, little brocade spiders. I love this. This is actually, I got this from a, a swap and shop group and the woman who I bought it from, either she made it or her mom made it somebody made it it's homemade and it's made really well and it's so pretty I love this dress keep here we're gonna get into some trying on <laughs> so this is a caftan from the oblong box shop which is another one of my favorite brands I definitely went through a phase where I thought like caftans were gonna be my thing let's let's zoom out shall we I don't know it's not like the most form flattering thing, but that's also not really the point of a caftan. <laughs> like it's really comfortable. It's very breezy and lightweight. I like that it has this um, kind of lux to it. I don't know if it's showing on camera, but there's like gold thread in woven in here. So it's like got a little bit of a, a gold shimmer to it. I think every vintage gal should have one, one caftan in her arsenal. And this is mine currently. So <laughs> this is an Ava Rose dress that is actually, <laughs> this is from my shop, the Beehive. I opened a vintage dress shop right before COVID, <laughs> literally March 12th of 2020, I opened my dress shop. So that uh, isn't really going at the moment, <laughs> but uh, this was one of the pieces we had for spring of 2020. And I really, I mean, I love the, I love the fabric. I just don't see myself pulling this out very often. So I think we're gonna let her go to a new home. 
Uh, this is an old mod cloth dress that I know for a fact does not fit me anymore. I loved this dress. It has owls all over it because again, I am an owl girl. Um, this used to be my Thanksgiving dress and I would wear it with that burgundy old navy sweater, but this definitely does not fit me anymore, unfortunately. So I've kept it for a long time just because it's sentimental and I love it, but I think it's time to let it go. This is another piece from my shop and I love this dress. Uh, this is a definite keep for me. Talk about just like a delicious 60s color scheme. Like it's just, like it's just on the verge of being ugly and I love, <laughs> I love mustard, I love yellow. Um, yeah, that's a keep. This is my other Christmas dress from Sourpuss. Love this print with a little vintage reindeer on it. To be honest with you, this is a dress that has not really fit me since I bought it. I cannot wear a bra with it because it is so tight on my chest. Um, and last year, because of said issue, I did split the zipper on it um, because I was trying to like wiggle my chest into it and I busted it. So it does need a new zipper. But I think if I took this to a tailor, um, because there's ruching in the skirt, I think we could probably let it out or sew some panels in the sides because I wear it with a cardigan anyway. So I think there's a way to fix this and keep it. So that's a keep for me. This one's really, really tricky for me. This is a beautiful piece by Hurt My Closet. I'm going to put it on. So I don't have this zipped all the way up because I can't reach it, <laughs> um, but it does zip all the way. This is a replica of a dress from The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, and this is bespoke. So it was made to my measurements for me, and... Uh, I really love it, but I also like don't wear it. <laughs> like I I don't think that this cream flatters me at all on top. I think it makes me look bigger up top than I am. So that's kind of like, mm. but I love the overall shape of the dress and the pleating. I mean, it's very well made and it was <laughs> expensive. Part of me says I should just like let it go and move on. I can always order a different dress from her. And I've had this for three years now, I think, two or three years. So it's it's seen some love, but I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Should I keep this one or let this one go? This is one where I like, I need to phone a friend. <laughs> and I bought that during a time where I was like really trying to dress 50s like true to 50s vintage <laughs> speaking of which we have another dress that was inspired by the marvelous mrs Maisel. <laughs> this is a miss candy floss dress with a little placebo lapel this is a really pretty dress and it's pretty on but i literally just don't wear it <laughs> anymore <laughs> I mean, like, pretend I tied this well. <laughs> but, like, I mean, as you can see, this is very cute and very well made. Like, like, I love the little sleeve cap with the matching button and everything. It's it's so cute. The color's beautiful. Like, great winter time office dress. I just don't dress for the office anymore. <laughs> Again, this was very much during my era where I was trying to dress like Mrs. Maisel. I was wearing a lot of like true vintage hats and some of you uh, probably know I've talked because I talk about it here quite a bit um, that my channel used to be called Adventures in Vintage and I was very much trying to be like a pinup channel like a accurate 50s pinup channel <laughs> which just was not what I needed to be doing which is why here we are <laughs> um, but yeah cute just not not me anymore so new home she goes this is a little hell bunny aberdeen dress in a plaid this is a very cute dress i do like it again i'm gonna i'm gonna pull three dresses right now these three hell bunny dresses the aberdeen this one which i i do really love this one 
and this one. Um, they are all very cute. They are all very like, again, period appropriate to the time for the 50s. I wore these constantly as an office professional um, because they were covering and warm in the winter when I had to go <laughs> outside and walk to an office building in the winter downtown. <sighs> I don't love them. I kept them for, um, what's the word? Practicality. I kept them because they were practical and I needed some dresses that were warm, but I don't really love them. And they're a bit like boring to me now. <laughs> like the colors are just very like, bleh, like it's fine. They're fine. I just like, they're very, very cute for someone who dresses time period specific. I don't think they are me anymore. So one thing that definitely came out of the pandemic for me is like, <laughs> I'm done wearing anything that doesn't bring me like absolute pure, a hundred percent, like unadulterated joy. Like if I have to think about it and I don't really feel good in it, I'm not, I'm not wearing it. Uh, <laughs> this is a Sabrina costume. It's not a Sabrina costume. It is actually like a dress, a nice dress from Killstar. Um, but I got it for a Sabrina photo shoot. I will never wear it again. So away it goes. <laughs> this one is tricky for me. This is my blue velvet collectif. As you can see, this is like so beautiful and actually glittery. Um, really really beautiful silhouette i do love this piece though we're gonna come back to her because i really don't know this is a definitive yes this is again tatiana boutique taylor and Toral. look at this delicious ugly 60s bed sheet print <laughs> i love it so much uh, one of my favorite dresses keep okay this is one of the first halloween dresses i bought ever <laughs> long a time ago this is a sourpuss hearse dress with a halter top it's this lime green with like the hearse print i really i honestly may keep this and turn it into a skirt i love the print um i don't love the top of this i do i mean i like the top of it but it's this tiny little bitty strap and i am very chesty so this always ends up hurting my neck. I guess I could maybe sew straps onto it too. I think it just needs some, some changing up of the way it uh, holds me up, but I, I love the, the print on this, so I am gonna keep her. Uh, this one's gonna make me sad. I love this dress. This is a collectif again. This doesn't really fit me anymore. And I'm sad. I really, really love this dress. And I actually wore this dress for my bridal shower. <laughs> I had a tiki party like for my bridal shower and I wore this. I jumped in a lake in this dress. <laughs> a lot of really, really beautiful sentimental memories attached to this. But uh, unfortunately, I just, I don't think that she is ever gonna fit me again the way it did those many three years ago and so I would really love to see her get a second a second life with someone else so goodbye okay so this one's interesting this is my sleepy hollow dress from Le Femme Noir and I actually as you will see have two of these this one I will be keeping this is the one that fits me this is the first one that I ordered that was too big on me and as you see still has the tags on it that I forgot to return so now we are way past the point where I can do that. So I do have this one, um, coolest print. It's like all this stuff from the Sleepy Hollow Tim Burton film. So I will try to resell this one because it's a great dress and it was uh, pretty, pretty pricey and I never wore it. This, I will never get rid of this dress. Even when it no longer fits me, I will keep this dress. This is uh, my first ever retro dress that I ever bought. My first reproduction dress from Modcloth. It's got this circus print on it. 
It is pretty freaking faded because this is probably close to 10 years old at this point. And I feel like this is my sisterhood of the traveling pants dress. <laughs> like no matter how much my body changes, it still fits me for some reason. I don't know. It's not particularly stretchy. No clue, but keep. <laughs> this is funny. This is a dress that I made uh, in college uh, when I worked in the costume shop. Uh, super cute. This fabric was from Walmart. Little kitchen utensils all over it. Um, this certainly does not fit me anymore. However, I also don't think it's probably fit in any capacity for another human to wear. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's, I mean, you know, it was made by me at 20. Like, it's, it's certainly not perfect. I don't know. I will probably, I'll probably hold on to it and maybe just, like, put it in a memory box. Um because this was the first full dress I ever made. Uh, many more came after this, but this was my first and I love it. I, this says who I am in a person, I feel like. <laughs> this little Halloween number is something I bought in college from some like, like a rose gal type place. Um, it was very, very cheap, like probably 10 to $12 and not well made. Um, but at the time it was what I could afford. And so I really, I did love this dress at the time, but now it is, it is time for her to go away. I just don't foresee myself ever wearing it again. And unfortunately, uh, I wore a lot of brooches with it and the fabric has kind of taken a beating cause it's not very high quality. So that's, that's going to go away. Okay. Another hell bunny dress that was very, very cute at the time, but I just don't reach for much anymore. Actually, one of my favorite pictures of me ever, I'll put it here, was taken in this dress. I love this dress, um, but I'm a little too like busty for it now, and I just never feel like super comfortable wearing it, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. This is a dress that I bought, again, in a swap and shop group, and it's really cute. It's got little like beetles. It looks like polka dots from a distance, but then you get up close and it's beetles, which is super fun. It's got a little Peter Pan collar. Um, this just was too big on me and never quite looked right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna part with her. Same with this dress. It's a mod cloth, uh, brand new with tags. <laughs> and it was just way too big and uh, I bought it on clearance, so it just wasn't returnable and it has not fit me right. So it's a very cute print though. It's uh, like a brocade look and it's got little bats and bugs and bones and stuff all over it and they're lavender. So very, very cute dress, just doesn't fit me well. One of my favorite dresses, my Sourpuss Monster Tiki mask dress. I have a real thing for monster faces. If you haven't, <laughs> if you haven't put that together yet. Um, this is such a great summer Halloween dress. It's so fun. This is elastic, so it can be worn on or off the shoulder. It's got fun little pom-poms everywhere. I love this bright orange and the colors on it. I just, I love this dress. Keep. This is the dress that goes with that sweater from Stitch Shop. Um, it has the cameos of the monsters around the bottom of the skirt. This was gifted to me by Stitch Shop by Loungefly. Love this dress. I just got this this year, so this is a definite keep. Okay, this dress is another Tatiana Boutique, uh, Taylor and Twirl, I think. Nope, this one's just Tatiana. Um, again, it's that same Sandra dress as the blue gingham, but it's got this like matchstick print. It's very cute. It's just, um, again, a little like plain for me now. And I wore it a lot in the office because it was just a nice professional dress, but I don't really reach for it anymore. So this one's gonna get donated. Whew. We're getting towards the end here. <laughs> we only have a couple more. I, ooh. 
I did not. I mean, like, I knew this was going to be an undertaking. I, I mean, as you see, I have not tried on hardly any of these. Like, once I got into this, I was like, there's no way I can try on all these dresses. <laughs> so this one is a Vixen, uh, the Raspberry Allure dress. I actually, if you would ask me, literally a week ago, I would say I was selling this. Um, but I just put it on for Thanksgiving this week as kind of like a, I was like, oh, maybe I'll just see how that looks. And I actually love the way this looks on me now. I think when I bought it, I had really short hair and I just didn't like the way the neckline looked with my decolletage and everything. Um, but now with longer hair, I actually love the way this looks on me. So this is going to be a keep. This is, I am going to put this one on because it's one of my favorite dresses that I own. This was a Christmas gift from my mother-in-law last year. I haven't uh, caught on to a theme here yet. I love velvet. <laughs> I love velvet dresses. This is the Baudelaire swing dress from La Femme en Noir, which is Vixen's sister company, Micheline Pitt's other brand. And I absolutely love this cobalt velvet is just the most beautiful color i love this dainty romantic little sleeve and the lace detail around the collar like this whole dress is just stunning it's got very good <laughs> spin action oh, and i am thinking because i have this blue velvet that i love so much that I maybe should let this blue velvet go. I don't know. I just, this one has never fit my chest super well. And so I always feel like when I put it on, I'm like futzing with it a lot and trying to get it to look the way I want it to. But it is a really, really good Christmas and New Year's dress. <laughs> I need y'all to sound off in the comments about the caftan and the blue star dress and tell me if I should keep them or not. I know I should put on the blue star dress so you can see it on. Okay, so here is this one. Um, I think, like, see what I mean about how the line where the waist should be, like, cuts kind of directly through the middle of my chest. I don't know. It's not, like, the most flattering, but it's also not, like, the least flattering. And there's a lot going on to, like, distract. <laughs> but it also, like, it doesn't nip at the waist as much as I'd like for it to, and the skirt's not as full as I'd like for it to be. Like comparatively to the bottle air, it's not as nice, but <laughs> I love this color with my hair though. I don't know. Again, tell me what you think. Let me know in the comments, keep or should I sell or donate this one? Okay, then lastly, I have a couple long dresses. Um, one of which is this one from Target actually. <laughs> and I, really wanted this dress and I love it. I don't love the way it looks on me, um, but I'm determined to take this to a tailor and have it nipped in in the right places to make it look good because this fabric is everything I've ever wanted in a dress. And I do really, I mean, I just look, look at these deliciously ugly color combinations. I just, oh, this reminds me of curtains my grandma had in the 60s and I'm obsessed and I'm going to make it work for me. So keep this. Some of you may recognize this because I wear it constantly as a top, <laughs> um, but it is actually a floor length gown. I will never, ever, ever, ever wear it again as a floor length gown because it is too tight. Um, but what I do want to do is cut it off at the waist and hem it so that I have it as a shirt because it is my favorite little top to wear with skirts. Um, but I literally like fold the skirt under and like tuck it into itself so that it is short under skirts <laughs> right now. Um, and it gets very hot very, very quickly. So um, I would like to have this one altered too, but I am going to keep it. Okay, so let's see where we ended up here. We started with 43 dresses. We now have we now have 24 yeses and three maybes. So I feel really good about that. That's like a big, that's almost a half clear out. Like that, that's pretty good. Remember to let me know in the comments what we think about the gold caftan, the blue glittery star dress, and the 
Christmas Mrs. Maisel. Let me know if you think I should hang on to any of those or go ahead and sell them or donate them. But oh, <laughs> we are finally done going through all of my clothing. That is everything. We have made solid progress on the closet clear out. I'm very happy with the progress I made today. Going through uh, jewelry and brooches and things is definitely going to be <laughs> a project for a different time because I feel like this is already going to be like a 45 minute long video. <laughs> But that is it for part one of the retro closet renovation. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I, I know this is quite different than the type of content I normally do. So I hope that you all enjoyed it. Be sure to leave me a comment down below. Let me know. And if you are new here, subscribe and stick around. This is, like I said, part one of three videos making over my master bedroom closet. Now that we've gone through everything and I'm getting rid of the stuff that I don't need in there, I'm going to clear everything out. And the next video is going to be the actual renovation portion where I'm going to paint and wallpaper and <laughs> install new lighting. I already have my wallpaper picked out. I'll give you a quick sneak peek. This is going to be a really, really fun project. And like I said, it's been a year in the making. So I'm very excited to finally be bringing this content to the channel. And I really hope this is something you all enjoy watching because I would definitely like to integrate more of this kitschy retro home and wardrobe type content into the channel as well. But anyway, thank you all again so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, keep it campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Bye. Come out to social.